Okay, folks, wanted to make a short video, talk a little bit about pre-commercial thinning. This is a 10-year-old planted stand, and we've had a little bit of natural seeding from Lob Valley, uh, but the other issue is that uh, we cut all our timber about, or most of the timber about two years ago, and we've got eight acres of this stuff left, and it's not gonna be feasible to get a logger in here to do a thinning when you traditionally would do the thinning, which would be in about five, four or five years. It's 10 years old now, and usually about 15 years in the south. And so what we've decided to do is to come in and do a pre-commercial thinning to remove some of the junk, uh, the low-grade trees, to allow um, all of the growth to be on the better quality trees. And so what I wanna show you is some of the lower quality trees we're gonna come out that are gonna come out, and I'm gonna come through here and thin this with a chainsaw, and then I'm gonna come back and get a second video um, that'll show you on this exact spot. This is a good example. This is a fusiform rust spot, Cronarsham. Uh, a lot of foresters call them a cat face. Uh, that is a bad spot, a weak spot, and it'll ruin that log. In other words, normally we when they're uh, loading the logs, when this is a little older, it's, it's too small now, but when they're cutting logs, they would cut it off here and then it'd be multiples of 16. But wherever there's a cat face like that, if it doesn't snap off between now and then, and a lot of times these, you can see this is dead wood right here. That's dead wood. That weakens the tree. A lot of times they'll just snap off. But if it does make it to rotation where we're gonna take it out, They'll jump cut that. They'll go up here and leave the lower part in the woods. <clears throat> so we might get a log out of it, but the point is, got a really nice tree right over here. We've got a good one right here, a good one right back there. The bottom line is if we take this one out, all the nutrients, sunlight, water will go to those other trees. Here's another one cat face right there so that'll come out a couple of stunted uh, two were planted together and they just don't get enough nutrients when that happens so those will come out and then we've got some fork trees for example this is one uh, that'll never be anything it's not worth keeping we need to allow those nutrients to go into this tree and the one behind it. So I'm gonna take this one out. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll come back and post a second video showing what it looks like after I thin it.